If, if, if someone faces a family member who, who does not recognize or refuses to do anything about the problem, there are relatively few options. However, if, it, if, the, danger, if the situation um, is, it creates an imminent danger, uh, or, th or a real threat of harm, then you may have to do something like uh, enlist the help of an elder service agency or enlist the help of the health department. Mo many health departments, many elder service agencies these days are much more savvy about hoarding behavior than they used to be. Used to be they go in and clean out the place. Now they often will work with the family, they'll work with mental health professionals, and there are a host of hoarding task forces around the country where health departments work in conjunction with mental health agencies and so forth on just these kinds of cases. So there are, there are resources out there for family members who are running into this problem. Now, not all health departments are, are up to speed with this, but a, a growing number of them are. So that's certainly one approach to doing this. Another approach is to create an environment for the person where where you can help them recognize that they need to do something. And that might include uh, in, enlisting the help of other people besides family members like clergymen, um, friends, um, maybe even neighbors who might be able to, to sit down with the person and talk through it. Well, one of the things that I've found in, in, um, uh, in my uh, interactions with people with hoarding problems, and I, I, and I know literally thousands of them, um, is that they often will recognize that there's something wrong here. And they tend to be quite intelligent and very curious about this behavior in themselves and how it's so different than everyone else. And that's the, that curiosity and, and that, that sort of astuteness is what we want to we, we want to capture when when people are arguing with family members about being able to do something about it. Um, and so that's, if the relationship can, can focus on this, and, and maybe one way of doing that is to provide the elder with more information about hoarding. Where does hoarding come from? What kind of agencies are out there? What does it look like in other people? Many people who engage in this behavior have no clue what it's called even. And so that's why I think a lot of the pub publicity now about hoarding, all the TV shows, newspaper articles, and so forth, are quite helpful because people look at that and they recognize themselves. And I think if you can capture them by saying, well, look at this profile. Does this, does this profile fit you? If they say, yeah, it fits, then they're, they're interested in learning more. So part of this is, is a way of educating the person about the nature of this behavior, maybe before even suggesting ever doing anything about it.